what is up Destiny Eaters? It's your girl Destiny here today and today I am going to show you guys how to make pancake mix. Sorry, as you guys know, I don't have that much light, but I'm pretty sure you guys can see there. I think you guys can see there. Yeah, you guys can see them. I clean my stove nice and clean to show you guys how to make pancakes. And what you're going to need to make pancakes that I'm going to do is one egg, something to mix with a bowl, a spatula, butter, and milk, which is this. Except this, you're not going to need that, just to wash the dishes and that. But this is what you're going to need. And then you're going to need this, which is supposed to be heating up. Make sure it's on low. And then after that, you're supposed to make the mix. Okay. And then now we're going to make the mix, which is first you're going to grab your mix. I'm using on Jemima. Yeah, Jemima. And I got like stuck in saying her name there. We're going to turn off the fire because that is already heated up. And the first thing you're going to do is take your mix out of your box or out of your bag. Open it. Obviously on top of something because you might get dirty. You're going to need a knife. Please make sure to have an adult watch you do this if you are um, younger than 12 years old. I know it's not that much of a big deal, but at the same time, it actually is. Because if you get cut, it's not going to feel very good. So, at all. Let's, first, you're just going to put as much mix as you want. You can put um, like a little bit or a lot. Depends on how much people are going to eat. I'm just going to make like that because it's just going to be me, my aunt, and my grandma. And... Now you're going to need, I'm, I like to use forks to mix it really well. First you're going to just mix it into the bowl. Make sure you have no, no balls of um, powder. The pancake mix. Okay, after that you're going to add milk little by little while you're mixing it. Until it comes like a liquid, a thick liquid. Make sure not to add too much because if it's like water then your pancakes won't come out very nice. They'll probably burn or they'll be too soggy and you're not going to be able to cook them correctly. So, I'm just going to be mixing in. As you can see, I just put some milk in here. Whatever milk you guys want. This is just how I like to make it. Homemade. Um, this is how my family members show me how. Pretty sure everybody does it like this. Um... Then after that, you're just going to keep on mixing until it's really good. It cannot be like this and then make it because it'll turn into like a dough and you don't want a dough. I'll be back when I'm done mixing this. What's up, guys? I'm right back. I was going to say what's up, but I said what's up. You guys get what I mean. Anyways. After you have a paste like this, as you can see, not liquidy and not too thick, it's just how it's supposed to be. Good? Okay. I hope I'm not too close to the camera. Hmm. Anyways. After that, and you're done mixing it, you're going to add your egg. Mm, cap to the milk just fell down. Don't worry. After you add the egg, you put, okay, remember you guys, first you put the mix, mix it really well in the bowl, dry, and then you add a little bit of <clears throat> milk, mix it really good until it has a paste of what I showed you guys earlier, then you add your egg and mix it in real well, well this is coming out really yellow, as you guys can see very very yellow and you don't want your pancakes to come out yellow or orange so I'm gonna add a little bit more pancake mix just a little bit dabbing of it oh not dabbing of that 
um, just a little bit to make it a little bit more softer and change the color because you guys don't want it to be super yellow just like the pancakes are supposed to be only and you gotta mix that well and after that mix it however you want after that you just grab your spatula clean and then you grab your butter. Well, that's a little bit too much. Just grab some for your pancakes, like just like that much. And then you're gonna add it to this, to your pot. And I turned off the stove, but is it on? Yeah. Okay. You're gonna mix it in all over. It should melt eventually. Just like oil, just that it's gonna be butter melting in. After that, you're basically just gonna grab another spoon, any other spoon that is like this big enough, and you're gonna grab some of your mixture. Or you can use it with your plate too, whatever you like. Then you're just gonna pour it into your bowl just like this. Let it out a little bit. Then after that, all you gotta do is wait for it to cook. Don't forget to keep checking it, because if not, it will burn. And you do not want burnt pancakes. Or raw, so gotta pay attention to this at all times. I think that was a little bit too much butter, but anyways, more butter, better taste for me. I like it like that. I think it's good enough to flip around now. Careful when you flip. It's going to come right out like that. If you want it more, like, hard, I mean, um, like, thicker or different, then you can keep it on the fire a little bit more time. Wait for it to cook the bottom. So, <laughs> wait for it to cook the bottom. Look, there you guys are. Yeah. Mm, there you guys. Okay. Then you're gonna like, I like to do this to make sure that the clumps are not all the way up or anywhere in the pancake after that. You're just going to flip it again. To make sure to cook both sides. God, that's hot. Okay. And after that, you just got to get a plate, which is over here. I hope you